Welcome the fuck back to Dark Souls 2 Scholar, everybody. It is the dead of winter here. Last episode, the first episode, we kick things off, of course, going through the intro cutscenes, all that jazz. The character creation, we made a monstrosity of a character. Um, named him after myself, which I don't know if that was a good idea. But, um, he's stuck with that name for life, and there's not much he can do about it, so he's gonna have to deal with it. But we killed Dragon Rider. And, uh, we got to level up already level 23. Like, you can level up so goddamn quick in this game. It's like, whoa there. Kind of like McCree. No, I don't know you what I'm saying. But we're going to talk to this guy. You have that distinct scent of a reversible fate. fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost normal. And in Trang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden. This is like the Crestfallen Warrior from I DS1. I lost um, everything. Who we went and, and killed in New Londo, if you guys can remember that. You Basically the same premise. Possible to Sad guy who here. gives up on everything and talks over here true in the corner and sits like this. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Bereft of hope and all that shit. A real downer. Even I'm not certain, but I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Dude, they talk so slow in this game. That's the one thing that I fucking don't understand, is they made the characters talk, like, so dramatically slow. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll live. We'll never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. There are four beings in this and wherever you go from, each has a power. If that frightens you, do you ever cry? Oh my god. Get to the point. Yes, I'll join the fucking way of Blue Covenant. That's all I wanted to do. That is a wise people are weak. weak. But the Blue Sentinels watch over us and benevolence let the Sentinels cradle you in their embrace. And look at our new neighbors, how they fret all over the sundry. Oh, those were better days. Oh, dear me, it really takes me back. Learn gesture. Okay, welcome gesture. More like, well, what is it, gesture? Fuck off, mate. Fuck off. Unless there's a wound beyond recognition. That was the DLC text when the DLCs were being launched. There was a secret hidden message on there. And... Obviously, yeah. since Ben has been removed from the game, since the DLCs are over with, like, you wouldn't believe. Really, I don't know what I'm saying, man. I don't fucking know. We're gonna go to the Forest of Fallen Giants. And I did a do some audio adjustments. I adjusted the resolution on the face cam to match the resolution of the game. I think my I went back and watched it. the face cam seemed a little fuzzy. Okay, I didn't remember there's a mimic. Face cam seemed a little bit fuzzy, like bitrate lag and kind of shit. Uh, it, w it was like the thing about this webcam it shoots 60 FPS, but it only shoots 60 F and 720p. So I don't know. I might try and order a capture card and get a better camcorder, because, like, the camcorder I have doesn't shoot true 60 FPS, it shoots 59.94, which I don't know why the fuck that's a thing. This, this webcam shoots, um, when it's shooting in 720p, it shoots 60.004. I know, weird, but it shoots in that, uh, that frame rate, which is true 60 FPS, like, nice and crisp, like this game is. Um, Mess with some encoding stuff. Hopefully it looks a little smoother. I think the reason why it may not have looked as smooth because there was different resolutions. Um, 
I could be wrong though. Uh, it's I'm gonna keep looking uh, episode by episode. Make sure this is a quality ass playthrough for everybody. Oh shit! They um, it's the joystick to jump, right? It's joystick. If I fucking fuck this up, I'm gonna be pissed. There we go. Homeward bone and the soul of a lost undead. Oh yeah, they added they added one of these fuckos over here. And I also lowered the uh, the game volume a bit because it seemed a little loud last time. Hopefully it's not loud anymore. I lowered it from 50% to 40%. My voice volume is at 90%, so it should be balanced out pretty well. Oh, you fucker. Those iframes, though. Fuck off, mate. Come here. Come here. You want some of this? You want some of this? You want some of this? Come here. Yeah, you bitch. Bitch. Fuck you. Let me get my shit here. Alright. We're basically gonna go... My goal for today... This episode is to probably hit up Last Giant and Purse User. Or the Pursuer, for those of you who don't know. We've got a vicious roadmap ahead of us for this playthrough. Dark Souls 2 I was very confident in. Because I know that game like the back of my fucking hand. And uh, I was ready... There's a lot more stuff to do in this game. There's DLCs, there's three DLCs. All containing, I think, three bosses. And I think we set end as a scholar, so there's also an additional end boss, which I hope I don't screw up. And we might screw Aldi up. Aldi is not, or as I like to call him, Elmo. He kind of fucking looks and talks like Elmo in a weird way. You'll see what I mean when we get there, but we're not... We're not close to getting to him yet. But he's like an optional end boss they added in in Scholar, and... Whether or not he's worth it to fight, or that much of a great addition, that's for... That's for you to decide. And I tried to hook up my green screen. It, uh... It works okay. Um, obviously, it's a green screen, like... A green cloth, but uh, the issue is not that. It's my piss poor lighting in this room. Um, the lighting I have right now is perfect for face cam. It's just I've got my uh, ambient lighting all set up. The white light on, which is just a mixture of red, green, and blue. See the top part of my face cam? You'll see like a light source. That's the LED light strips that I had installed that you guys saw yesterday that I kind of showed off a little bit because I backstabbed this fool. Get fucked, boy. Get fucked, boy. Because you a fuck boy. Oh, shit. These guys are everywhere. They're everywhere. I'm not logging on. I'm not logging on, but I probably should be a fucking broken straight sword. Shit's pointless, if you know what I'm saying. It's a nice pun there. Gotta leave a like for that pun. Because a broken straight sword uh, doesn't have a point. Get it? Pretty funny stuff here. Pretty funny stuff. But anyways, we're gonna go up this fucking motherfucking ladder. Oh shit! Oh fuck! I forgot. I forgot these dudes were a thing here. What up? Is there more? I really don't know. I do not remember this part at all. There's not much I remember about this game. It has been quite a while since I've played DS2. Quite a while. Too long, maybe. It'll be good to kind of run through all the Souls games in succession, rapid succession. I don't think I've done this. I don't think I've ever done a Souls marathon. For myself, or for anyone that matter. Which is, uh, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool to just run through all the Souls games. I finished Dark Souls 2 maybe... Maybe a week ago. So it hasn't been that long since I've, uh, played DS1. It hasn't been, like, a month or two month time, definitely. Like, it's usually... Um, but, uh, yeah, it's... I wanna say it's been a year since I played DS2. Probably a year. What the fuck are you doing? Where the fuck, honestly? Where the fuck did you come from? 
you shitbag. And I've got some news as well for those tuning in right now. By the way, thank you for tuning in, of course. Really do appreciate it. Does mean a lot. Every little uh, bit of support shown, every time you click the video, leave a like, any of that stuff. Greatly appreciate it. Any comments, however maybe small the, uh, the view count may be, it is greatly appreciated nonetheless. But anyways, <clears throat> the, uh, the update news really that I wanted to talk about was uh, motherfucking uh, some other games that I wanted to get playing on the channel. I know um, for my other channel um, that I have, I had to express that uh, when I made this channel it was going to basically not be a channel devoted to one, one type of game. Um, not just Dark Souls and Overwatch, even though that's what it's going to start off with, because I've got to put something on the table for you guys to watch, to begin with, obviously. I don't want to just leave you with nothing. These are games are familiar with, something I can do a, probably a, a pretty decent playthrough of, something that will be enjoyable to watch. Holy fucking shit. Please, dear fucking Jesus, pop that motherfucker. Pop that bitch. Oh, shit. The fucking fear of death is within me now. Oh, God. These undead wildin' boys. God damn. These boys are wild. Thank you for the shitty armor, you little bastard. But, uh, yeah. Fucking nose is, uh, being a little bitch right now. But the thing I wanted to get to... The thing I really want to talk about is that I wanted to obviously oh fuck is I want to expand what type of games we're playing on here and uh it's taking me forever to complete my fucking thought here but some other games that I wanted to play besides the games that I have like currently on my PC like Subnautica, I don't know if I'll play that because the game involves a lot of farming, grinding, fucking shit. I don't know how to do a lot of a lot of work and effort involved in just trying to play that game. It's not a game you can just kind of sit down and play without really devoting a lot of time to like advancing your progress in the game. It's, you got you got to farm stuff, like is what I'm trying to get at. I don't know if it'd be the best game to do a playthrough of. <clears throat> But Jack and Daxter has a remastered HD collection. Holy fuck, you're already up. And whether or not you're familiar with this game, it is a game that's uh, it's a bit of an older game. Older trilogy came out several, several years ago. I think the first game came out in 2001. Yeah. Jack and Daxter, the precursor legacy game, very close to my childhood. Grew up with that game awesome game and there's a HD remastered version on PS3 I don't have a PS3 but the goal would be to uh, some point in the future get a PS3 because they're very cheap and then get the HD remastered collection and uh, do a playthrough of that start to finish because I've seen people do playthroughs of that on YouTube and they do pretty well actually a lot of people are very fond of the game I'm fond of the game um, if you've never seen the game it's a nice uh, at least the first game get yeah, that 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 charm to it really nice game this is the Merchant Hag, Malentia. And we need a couple of things from this bitch. I need... Give me three fire bombs, please. And give me this key. And give me all of your life gems. Okay, talk. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so basically, I'm going to exhaust her dialogue. Uh, Hag says, okay, she's gonna pick up. We want her to move to Majula. Um, cause there she'll sell infinite life gems, and then easy mode is unlocked. For you diehard Souls fans, you know what I'm talking about, why easy mode is unlocked. And this is a little trickery, little trickery right here. Ready for a little lesson in trickery, everybody. If you get what I'm saying. Um, so this is a shortcut. And whether or not the developers intended this to be a way for this to happen is a whole different story, but you basically look down at this third tile here, and maybe some of you Dark Souls fans don't know about this. 
Maybe I'm about to blow your motherfucking mind. So here we go. You look down at the floor, you throw, and nothing happens. No, I'm just kidding. That's not. That is not what's supposed to happen. Probably gonna take a little lining up. Probably gonna take a little lining up. Okay. I failed miserably. The wall is supposed to blow open. Um, trust me, I know what I'm doing. May not look like it, but you gotta believe me. You gotta believe in me. Pretty sure it's the second or the third tile. I'm positive it's the motherfucking third tile. I'm not gonna stand directly up against the wall. Okay, I don't know. Maybe they patched it, but I don't think they did. Oh well, it's not that big of a deal either way. Um, if it is patched, because it's not that difficult to get around. And they made this room a lot darker for some reason. That's one of the changes they just felt like they need to make. And fuck that crystal lizard. It's very spooky in here. They're like, hey, use your torch. It'll help. Oh, we didn't even get torches yet. That's a, that's a damn shame right there. Yeah, okay, let's open this up. Is there a torch in here? How cool would that be? Nope. No torch. And yeah, if you already noticed, uh, I was able to fucking fix my mic boom. I don't know if I was using it. I don't think I was using it the incorrect way. It just had a fucking revelation where I was like, why don't I just take it and flip it up upright and then bend it down. So now it's down here and not in the way. And I can have my face cam wherever I want it to be. So that's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. That's some dope stuff like, whoa there. Uh, I think that's all we need in here. And then I want to get... Is there a divine blessing? Yeah, see like they... Oh, never mind. I was about to uh, go on a rant for a second. And then luckily they saved themselves. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We are good. So everything is fine. Everything is great. So was, I was going to say, like, why the fuck do they move a divine blessing? Why could that not be there? Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm about to get outplayed. The shield sucks, why am I blocking with it? Okay! I'm gonna back up from you. As I casually drink my Estus. Oh yeah, there's one thing we should probably go back and buy. After we kill Last Giant, I don't know if we're gonna... I don't know if we'll need it for Last Giant, but it'll definitely help if we have the, the mace. Gotta get our drumsticks a-going. It's locked. Can't break this door. This door is too good for us. That door knows what the fuck it's doing. If that makes sense. Get our bastard sword. Which I might actually switch to that if it does more damage, and it does more damage. We don't have the proper stats, but can we two-hand it? No, the game is going to tell us to fuck off. We cannot bear the power of the bastard sword just yet. Alright, let's go. Let's go! Let me in that bitch! I'm coming. Here we go. Who wants to party? Fucking turtle man, let's go. Let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. Oh yeah, these dudes don't fuck around, actually. And they do that. Forgot about that. Forgot that was a thing that they do. 
always charging through. My god. Oh, a fourth follow up, you shit ass. Bring your ass. Okay, you're dead. We need to go this way. There's an archer over there. We don't want to deal with the shit right now. Oh, look at you. Fucking A, dude. Fucking A. He's like, I'm gonna get you. I'll do it. I'll smash you. I'll smash you in. And you're dead. Yeah, they, this, this guy is never here in the original game. They just put him there. Because they're like, you know what? It'd be cool, wouldn't it? Put a big ass turtle dude here. Um, come down here. Throw a firebomb. Throw a firebomb right here. Throw a firebomb. Fuck. You fucking idiot. You ruined it. Alright. Oh, now you fucked up. You jumped down. You fucking jumped down, you idiot. Oh shit. This might kill me, I don't know. But it'll be worth it! Look at his dumb ass up there. You can see the fucking tip of his helmet. Son of a bitch. This is, uh, this is a predicament because he's going to make me trigger the fucking fight. That's right. The fucking fight. Come here. Oh, shit. Yo, what is that? Rapid fire? What the fuck was that? What? Did it hit the wall behind me? That makes no sense. Camera's over here, what am I doing? That's bullshit, dude. Get the fuck over here. You little shit butt. I don't have anything else I can throw. Oh, wait, I do, but I do have something I can throw at him. A witching egg. Come here, little Tommy. I've got something for you. Okay. Well, this is going to be a little shitting match, huh? Oh, this guy's fucking... Because, like, they added, like... Yeah, they put in a bunch of, uh... Oh, now he's going to fly in. I don't know how well this is going to work, but... That was such a bad idea. That might have been a bad idea too. Yep. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Probably should equip the small leather shield because I think that's uh we have a we have a good parry shield. Why don't I put the nipple shield on? What is wrong with me? But, I mean, it doesn't even, doesn't really matter, because he will not appear back there, uh, this, uh, this lifetime. You fucking shitter, what are you doing? Because he moves, he's like a one-time, uh, fight right there. If you manage to kill him in the first encounter, he does not appear in his actual boss arena. So, yeah. I just got my bread buttered, though. Can parry the shit out of him, which I obviously did not do because I'm bad. I can parry the fuck out of Gwen all day because DS1 parries are good. 
DS1 parries are nice and buttery. DS2 parries, not so much. DS2 parries are kind of butt. DS3 parries aren't as good as DS1 parries, but they're not as bad as DS2 parries. This is what I was worried about. This is what I was worried about. Oh, you're a little fucking shit throwing my fucking throwing fire bombs at me. Fuck all of you. Oh my fucking god. Why is this a fucking thing, dude? Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? Let me through. Fucking roll. Oh, I swear to god. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I need to take some of this shit off. Okay, I lost them. Want to take the armor off so I can roll faster? Yeah. That's this flash shard is what I wanted. What is this? Oh, you fucking made it, made it up. Now you're dead. Uh, torch. Cool, we need that. We need that. You guys, uh, giving up? Fine by me. Fuck all y'all. Can I throw a witching urn at that and fucking blow it up? I guess not. Thought maybe the witching within would blow up the barrels. I guess that's not how it works. There's Pate. Hello, Pate. Tis me. Hello there. Traveling all alone in these treacherous times. Well, I hope you have a very good reason. Oh, hogwash. Who am I to judge? My name is Pate. I journey hither. Be careful. Blah, blah, blah. There's treasure. I saw this. I was with this. The rather. Br I still have. I'll leave this one to you. I'm worried about what might be inside. Talking about in there. He's basically like, don't go in there, it's a trap. Even though he really wants me to go in there. He's kind of like... Patches from, uh, DS, 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 DS1. Kind of like Patches. Kind of a conniving little shit. So here there used to be... A turtle. These spearmen are impossible to get past. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god, this foggy. Nope, not gonna work this time, huh? Well. I think we may have fucked up. Bro, I almost just got wrecked by a firebomb. Everybody this way. Oh my fucking god, thank you and fuck you at the same time. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. You gotta be shitting me, dude. Why, why do they do? So many things, it's like, why the fuck did you do that? <sighs> oh, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna go back to Majula. We're gonna go back to Majula. We're clearly not ready for fucking Forest of Fallen Giants. Clearly not ready. <sighs> I'm a little flustered. A little flustered. That's all. My little flaster, that's all. Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. I packed my tools in and I'll sell them. I wonder who locked the fucking door, you dumb shit. Could it have been you? Locking on yourself. Like, dude, climb in the window. There's a fucking giant hole. And that's like two feet high. You're a big dude. You can get in there. 
God damn. All right, we got the door open for him. So now we can purchase from him an item in which we need gravely. And I'm gonna fucking pop the shit out of this. Kaboosh. All right, open. What am I talking about? Doesn't matter, dude. I just want... I just want... A mace. One will do. Thank you. Um, reinforce. Reinforce. Okay, we don't have Titanite shards. I was like, what? You don't sell... Oh, you do. Oh, you do sell Titanite. Ooh. Let's buy just two. Just enough to upgrade our shit again. Okay. I'll be around. We got a plus two mace. I'm gonna pop souls. The rest of our souls. That is. We got a mace, so like we're already cooking. We're already cooking, if you know what I'm saying. The fucking merchant hag is not over there yet. Don't worry. Best feature they added. Fucking pop multiple souls at a time. Genius. Truly genius. Hey, I got some souls, bitch. Yeah, so I'll give you the Estus. So we get three Estus now. Got three Estus. And we're gonna level up. Yeah, we'll do that. I know, I like, it sucks knowing that I have to, like, put fucking points into adaptability. It's just gonna make life easier if we get points in our adaptability situation. Whatever. Um, so yeah, roadmap for this episode was supposed to be fucking last giant pursuer, but we did meet the pursuer. We didn't get to fight him. We'll fight them next time. This is just a forest, fall, forest of fallen giants run through. We've got everything we need to go back in there. We got a plus two mace. We've leveled up some more. Basically, our goal for next episode will be we're gonna charge in there. We're gonna beat the fuck out of some people with this mace. We're gonna open up the shortcut. We'll go down to Last Giant, kick his ass. And we'll go up top to pursue her, and uh, from there, we should be good. We should be ready to move on to bigger and better things. So thank you for joining me in this episode here today, Dark Souls 2, episode 2. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And uh, hope you didn't get too fucking cold during this video because it's been the dead of winter. And we'll see you guys in the next one.